Hi everybody, my name is Jan Dufour and I'm an independent Stampin' Ups demonstrator. I live just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm gonna to show you two techniques. One is tearing and what kind of paper you need to use when you're tearing. And then also a rubber band technique for the background that we did for this. This is a really old technique. It's, I'm bringing it back. I want y'all to try it, it's fun. It is a little bit messy. Uh, you can always wear gloves. Um, if you are coming to me through YouTube and you want to get the project sheet, go to my stamp, uh, my website at stampmesilly.com. If you have any questions or you don't have a demonstrator and would like a free catalog, email me at jandufour at yahoo.com. And if you see anything here you like and you'd like to order it, you can go directly to my store at jandufour. Well, that was fun. jandufour.stampinup.net. My little stand for my phone fell down. I'm not retaping. You know me. If you follow me, I don't redo. All right, first we're gonna do a rubber band technique. This is our brayer. I took it apart so that I could put on some rubber bands. We are not using the colors that we're gonna be using for the card because I have four of them already. So I thought I would do it with a different color. You wanna use different size rubber bands. You do not wanna be fancy about how you put them on. You want to go ahead and twist them all up and kind of, I mean, you don't have to cover the thing. You can just roll, roll more later if you want to. I think that's probably enough. It slips right back in. You pull this a little bit and it, it goes right back in. So here we go. Try not to get dirty. First, you have to pick up your color. You don't want to mash it real down because we want it to stay up on the rubber bands and not get too much on the roller. You will get some on the roller and that's okay. Um, just go ahead and, whoops, lightly roll until you think you've got the rubber bands all full of ink. And start wherever you want and just go right on through. And it looks like a mess and kind of is. As you can see, I'm getting it on my mat and that's okay too. And you can go in different directions. Um, I have, and I probably will before I'm done. I want a little bit more up there. Okay, I'm done with the red. I'm gonna put this down. It's real red that I'm using. And then I'm using holiday colors so I can use it in some cards I'm making. But I gotta clean that off because I don't wanna get that on my um, ink pad. So I'm gonna get a scrap piece of paper. Sorry if you saw my head there and try to first wipe up this mess so I don't get it anywhere else. I'll use a little bit of our Stampin' Mist. The whole thing is about not trying to get the rest of the ink elsewhere. Using gloves might be helpful, um, but I'm just gonna do, what did I do with my paper? Hey, I already lost it. Man, it doesn't take much, oh, here it is. Doesn't take much. I'm just gonna roll and get, and you can see the flat piece, that's because I'm pressing really hard and it's going past the rubber band. Get most of it off, maybe not all of it, but, and I'm gonna spray it and we're gonna do it some more. Oops. And then if you press too hard, it pops out. No damage done, we'll just put it back. Okay, well, I didn't get too much on me, good for me, yay. We'll move this over, put this aside because I'm gonna need it after I do the green. Now you can choose to go in the same direction. I kind of do want to. Um, these moved over a little bit and I wanna, I wanna spread them out a little. There we go, that's better. Go ahead and get them dark green. I'm gonna kind of try to get like in between. That didn't work out very well. I may just do a little bit of oh, how fun of that. Oh, I like it. And you can't really tell because I'm just gonna put this aside and clean it later. Um, <clears throat> you can't really tell what it's gonna look like because you're gonna cut it up. So don't despair if you think you don't like it right off. It's okay. Again, I'm going to clean this up later, but I do have to clean up my desktop. 
so that I don't get it on the cards I'm going to be making. Okay. Let's see how they do with my hands. Not too bad. All right. Throw that on the floor for later. Then, of course, you just cut these up into quarters, um, taking off a little bit. So I'm doing my first level, um, <clears throat> which means I'm cutting them at five and a quarter by four. So you should get four of them out of sheet of paper. Okay. I used them <clears throat> on the back. Jeez, I'm sorry. Let me cough again here and get rid of my allergies. It's a wonderful thing. Um, for this piece, now I also used some DSP um, from the um, Thoughtful Journey, is what it's called. You bring my pieces in. And of course, they're not all going to be the same. I think, let's see, how, how was this? It was like this. So I went ahead and, and cut them out. I, I cut it in three because it's a six by six. And then I determined that I needed um, the length or the length that I wanted was three and a quarter, three and three quarters, I apologize. The project sheet will have all of the measurements on there. But as you can see, um, put this right side up, I used, um, what did I use? Oh, wild wheat, believe it or not. And um, pumpkin, no, calypso coral. So calypso coral and wild wheat. I thought that would bring out some of the colors that were in this piece. So we're just gonna put this together real quick because I have another technique I wanna share. So we're doing everything by the magic of television. <laughs> it's not television, I know, but feels like television when you're watching it, right? All right, so we'll put that down. And this is gonna go here. This has a lot of the Cajun craze showing, more so than the other piece did. The other had more blue, types of blue coming through. So when you decide where you wanna put, um, oh, and this um, saying comes from uh, where, So Sincere, uh, which is an online exclusive, and the um, dyes, are something fancy dies uh, also online and <clears throat> they they are very good for especially for layering because they can go like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and you can decide um, and and it might be different for every piece because the picture comes out different. There's more accent on a color or um, there's more, like this one has two sets of the Cajun craze. I was trying not to cover up too much of that, so I wanted to put it in the middle. Of course, you can always do this and you can still see. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I will do that on this one just for fun. And uh, let me get my... Mm -hmm. Get some, and you know you never throw this stuff away. I don't know where, I just brought out a new pack. I can't find it already. But you can cut around these things and use them because they're still sticky and puffed up. So it works. Not that they're very expensive, but it's always fun to save money if you can. Take these off. Maybe, if I'm lucky. I found one of these. You know, you all know what I'm talking about if you've ever used dimensionals. I found one of these in the strangest places. It was in the bathtub. <laughs> I think it must have gotten stuck on a towel, which I then hung up, which is on the back of the tub. Anyway, I don't know. It showed up in a weird spot. So I think I'm going to drop it right, right there. You know, if you don't press down, you can always pick it up and move it. But I think I do like it there. So there you have it. And then on the inside, of course, you want to put a plain, if it's dark, you want to put a plain piece of cardstock. So this is basic white. It's cut down the first layer, um, which first layer is four by five and a quarter. Let me put that right here. And 
there you have it. Now you get leftover pieces when you cut down your white paper. So it would be real fun if you wanted to put those along the bottom. I'm not going to at this point, but there you go. So there's the first card. The second card I made, going back to what I did last week, using um, a scrap kit, which I don't scrapbook much anymore. I used to for years and years and years. There's lots of things. First of all, they have gorgeous paper, um, both the DSP type with the double-sided and also our new two-tone paper. If you haven't seen it yet, it's really fun because on one side, it's one color and on the other side, it's a lighter tone of the same color. So we're gonna see, here's a better idea. We're gonna use that for the tearing. Now, we also have in our regular catalog and have had um, white core paper. And what that means is Stampin' Up's cardstock is dyed all the way through. It is this color all the way through the paper. Our white core paper is not. It's colored on the top and the bottom with white in the, in, in the interior. So that makes it great for tearing. Um, the fun thing about this is that it gives you more than one color because it's two tones. So this is a darker color, this is a lighter color. And I thought I'd try that. Again, I used some of the things that came from here. And then I decided the color wasn't quite right. So I used a um, Stampin' Blends and went ahead and put, um, I colored the top of it so that it would be, I used Cajun Craze so that it would blend in more. So this was one I just did. The one we're gonna make, I think is a little cuter. I probably shouldn't say that, but I do like it better. Um, I kind of did the same thing. Grateful um, is a great Thanksgiving time or any time kind of card. Um, this is the two-tone paper, which is, yeah, peach pie in a lighter version. Um, all I did on this was I took the, the same size as I did on the other card, which is, again, three and three quarters by five um, and then I marked it at two and a half which is the center and I went up one inch on both sides and I took my cutter scoot this sideways and I put the tick mark on one side of the blade and brought the other tick mark to it and cut. And all I'm making is a flag, basically, which you can do and just leave that way if you prefer. Make sure I've got them both in the channel. Um, but I wanted to use it as a base to start my, my um, tearing, if you will. Now, the trick to tearing, or not trick, but the thing you'll notice is if you pull towards you, you will get the white showing. If you pull away from yourself, in other words, if you pull down, you won't get the white. Now, I don't pull down as well as I pull up, so I went ahead, well, let's make this one different just for fun. So I went ahead and I pull up, knowing that I wanted to use this side if I didn't want the white showing. And the reason it's doing it in little pieces is because I didn't leave myself much room to tear. In other words, I I am making a very narrow piece, which makes it a, a little bit harder. Um, but anyway, so I'm going ahead and keep pulling. Now this is like an old fashioned, I don't know, they used to, the old timey look. Um, we did it a lot back in the day, which is not back in the day anymore, but it's coming back. So anyway, there you go. I don't like this little piece here, so I'm gonna tear a little bit there. And that looks fine to me. So if I want the lighter color, um, uh, then I, I just, oh, isn't that interesting? I must have marked it twice. I also have marks up here, which I always use friction pens so that I can just see it better than a, a graphite pencil. Also, it also erases better. But anyway, so if I want the white to show, I would put it down this way. If I don't want the white to show, I would put it down this way. 
The other thing to consider is they're two different colors. Which one do I like it better with? Mm, let's turn it over and see what we see with the white. Mm, I kind of like the darker color. So that's what I'm going to pick. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue down on this. So that's two different methods. Um, sometimes I have to go outside my box, which in this case is, this is not my favorite card to show. Um, it's not bad and it's certainly gift worthy. I can give it away. It's just not my taste, I guess is what I'm saying. But sometimes that's good because we have to remember that not everybody likes exactly what I like. So that's good for me to remember. Oh, you know what? <laughs> See, these are new for us, and I just think I figured out that these have, maybe not. Let me see, I think this may have the sticker back. Maybe not. I glued it down. I'll have to put in the remarks down below. I don't waste the time, but I'll put down in the remarks below. It may actually them off and and I didn't um, put glue everywhere because you don't need it um, just put it in a few strategic places Ooh, over grateful anyway back to sometimes making cards that are not my favorite um, this is just not a look I I would prefer so that's okay and now he looks kind of light see i don't like this so i'm gonna i'm gonna fix it if you will this is another trick i've showed you in previous videos um i just want and this came out of again when you get this scrap pack you get all kinds of yeah let me put this down you get all kinds of you know thanks and these cute little bunnies and stuff that you can use on cards and then I took the little center from here. Do we like this better? No, I want to I want to show you the trick. And then a whole bunch of punch outs. So all I'm gonna do is keeping it straight up and down. I'm gonna walk it right through. Do it a couple of times. And although it doesn't look like much, it I'm giving it a chance to dry in case you're wondering why I'm not grabbing it right away. Um it gives it a chance to stand out when you lay it down. See how it just makes it come out a little bit more? Close this so I don't mess it up. Again, the inside requires a white insert so that you can write your message. Um, the other nice thing is when I do cards with the white base, I always use the thick and the colored cardstock is not quite as thick as the thick. It's thicker than our regular white, basic white, because of the dye that they put in it. It makes it a little bit thicker. Um, but it's not as thick as basic white thick. <laughs> so when you put layers on the top and don't put anything on the bottom, it kind of makes it uneven. This makes it a very sturdy card. So there are my two cards that I like, <laughs> or three cards that I like. And this one's okay. I would have to work on this again a little bit more for it to make me happy. Um, I also put a little gem on there from Earth Tone Shimmer, which I should do that. Sometimes I forget the gems and I purposely put it up higher so that I would have space for it. So we need to put it on there. And you know what? I'm just thinking, I don't know. I think these need gems too, right? Doesn't that just make it cute? And then with thanks, we'll do, how about a white one? Oops. How about a white one, right? Right there. There we go. We're all gemmed up. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed any of these cards, I would appreciate a thumbs up or subscribe. I, I post once a week. Um, occasionally, I will uh, send out a post about free shipping or some other kind of flash sale. Um, and that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great Labor Day weekend, which I think is coming up. Have a good day. Bye.